Hi, this is Simon from Yelling. There is a growing trend to have a glass wall in the meeting room, and uh, as well as meeting rooms uh, taking place in the open scenarios. In situations where AI features are utilized, it is very important to only display the current participants without including the individuals outside the meeting rooms or beyond the designated meeting area. As you can see, on my right side, someone is sitting around, and on the other side, someone is passing by outside the glass wall. In this situation, without accurating the video fans feature, some participants are also being captured within the frame. This could disrupt our demonstration. If the video fence feature is disabled, it can effectively remove the worry of being distracted by other activities happening around you and enhance the video experience. This ensures the best viewing experience for the remote participants. It is primarily employed in the conventional conference room, training room, and open scenario. How to enable video fence feature. Before you begin, Please confirm that the device has been updated to the version supported by Video Fence. Select UVC86 on Yelink Room Connect. Choose Device Settings. Then click Advanced Settings. Click Video Fence Setting and Enabled Video Fence Feature. Customize suitable parameter according to your own need. Breadth, which refers to the width of the video fence. If the parameter sets to 6 meters, it means 3 meters on each side from the center of the camera. Depth, which refers to the vertical straight line distance measured from the center of the camera. By configuring the breadth and depth, a video fence area is formed. The AI feature will detect and respond only to individuals within the video fence range, eliminating interference factors that could affect camera tracking stability, such as portraits hung on walls or reflections from glass surfaces, which enhances the efficiency of your meetings. Meanwhile, video fence can be used in conjunction with multiple AI functions. And in this section, we will primarily demonstrate the several scenario where the video fence is applicable. We can adjust the bright and the depth parameters of the video fence based on the specific environmental requirements. For instance, considering the current confidence room situation, we can set it to a bright of 3 meters and a depth of 6 meters. After the configuration is completed, you can observe that when Simon is walking out of the area covered by the video fence selection, he won't be recognized by the camera's AI functionality. And now, if we switch to the multi-focus mode, with the video fence feature enabled, and we can see the camera only displays the personnel within the selected area. And now, I'm standing outside the area, and the camera is not recognized and framing. And now, when I walk back into the area, the camera will select it and recognize me again. The second scenario will introduce the usage of the video face in the training room. After the configuration is completed, people speaking in the video fence area can be accurately checked and framed by speaker checking. However, when participants step outside of the first area of the video fence and speak, they will not be recognized and captured within the frame. As you can see, in the training room scenario, there is an overall increase of the video fence in this requirement. And uh, when the width of the room exceeds the coverage capacity, the additional camera is needed. When the participants re-enter the coverage area, they will be captured naturally. 